Hey guys, welcome to Cuban with Jagger. Today I'm going to be unboxing this package I ordered from thecubicle.com, so let's get right into it. All right, and here we go. So we have an RSTM 2020 Maglev, very, very exciting. Some DNM 37, three milliliters, I think. Uh, whoa, that's really massive and a lot cooler than I thought it would be. That is the cubicle.com holographic sticker, which is pretty awesome. And what you might even say is the best item in this box, slash package, slash whatever, it is the Shangsha Terraming. So I'm very excited for that. And of course we have the receipts, but no business card. What? Well, that's so sad. Whatever will I do? I don't know. But let's just go in ascending order. So essentially, uh, I ordered during a sale. So we have the Cubeco holographic sticker. And basically what I think I'm gonna do with that is just take it off and take it over here and put it right there. So that's my little filming spot. So this is like the thing that I put my phone under and it just goes right there. So I think that's pretty cool. And next up we have the DNM37, and I have a lot of this kind of, I think. So, I mean, it's good to have more, I guess. So I'll just put this in the little uh, lube box that I have, and so that's pretty cool. So that was the prize for, I think, $50 over. So basically, the sticker, I think, was like 20, and then like the, that was like 40 or 50 or something, I don't know. But the thing that I'm really excited for is the Maglev RS3M 2021 or 2022, or I don't know if it has a year. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna open this up right now because um, yeah, I've actually kind of been looking at this cube for a while and it was worth like $13. And since the Terraminx right here was $76, it brought me up to $70 that I needed for this. So pretty cool. And we'll move this off to the side. And yeah, so let's just get opening it and we can just kind of tear this. I don't need that. And we have the cube and uh, a cool little stand, which is nice. And accessories block is just a screwdriver and whatever. And yeah, so let's just get this open and here we go. So we will take it out of the wrapping here. It is all so, so loud. And I don't really need that in my life, but here it is anyway. Okay, perfect. We got it out. And yeah, so it feels kind of heavy. Um, pretty sandy turning by the sounds of it. Um, not too fast, so maybe we can put some DNM 37 in. Um, we'll see. But let's just do some first turns. And... Oh, maybe it is fast. Oh, jeez, maybe it's too fast. Oh, goodness, that was a U like three and U four over a U four. Um, okay, well, that's pretty interesting. Um, this is just kind of something that I like to do when I'm just trying out cubes. Just this memorized little pattern I've got here. And so, wow, that's almost uncontrollable at this point. Wow. All right, so maglev is really crazy. Corner cutting is pretty good, actually. It seems a little bit locked when I'm like turning, but maybe that's just like my inaccurate turning at work. So um, I think I might like, I don't know, do a couple solves on this and see what we can get. Okay, just before I did some solves though, I did want to show you my main, the Gan, uh, What's it even called, man? It's like, this is the GAN 12, I think. So yeah, uh, this one is also like similarly fast, but I've broken it in a little bit so that like, I don't know, it's a little less uncontrollably fast. So uh, yeah, I like the speed of this though. This one is like newer and like newly lubed. So like out of the box, I would say it's faster than my main. But yeah, I think the corner cutting is like, honestly it worse on my main but the thing is it's got those like magnets like there that just like that's crazy and that's the thing that holds this cube back so 
we can just do a couple of solves and we will see what we get. So I think maybe like average of like five and I can put them all on the screen at the same time so then it doesn't take too long. And yeah, so um, let's do it. I've got an interesting idea for this cross. So here we go. Oh, almost so done. Great. All right, and there we go. That is the solves. And yes, that like 10.01 is pretty freaking good. And so, yeah, honestly, I think this is going to be my backup main because it's just so fast that like it's almost uncontrollably fast, but like, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but like, I just... I really like the like the magnets of this one because yeah, but other than that, like I don't know. <laughs> They're like very similar. And yeah, so the thing is though, um about fourteen dollars, about seventy dollars. So I would recommend this one. It's actually really good and totally main worthy. So yeah, now we can move this off to the side because I'm not going to be solving that right now. And what we can look at though is the Terramings. And yes, so I'm very excited for this. So basically my current biggest dodecahedral puzzle is the Gigaminx. And this was one of my first big cubes that I've got. So yeah, I was like, wow, $40 for a cube. That's just absolutely insane. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get something bigger than that. Yeah, I probably never will. So let's open this up. So um, we've got this weird plastic, uh, nice. Kind of smaller than I thought, honestly. And we have some stickers right here, which is nice because Shanks House stickers suck. But yeah, so that's freaking epic. And I'm actually super excited for this. Comes in like a freaking grocery bag, so that's nice. And it's quite like dense though, it's very heavy. But, oh. Oh, that turns like actually really good. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, okay. So that's super good. So I think what I kind of want to do is maybe uh, this Sunday um, or like whatever, I don't know. Um, I like my upload schedule is just so bad that I don't even know what this Sunday means. But I'm thinking maybe like pretty soon after this video is uploaded, I might do a, like a live stream for this. But yeah, stickers are um, aligned pretty good and uh, pretty greasy on the outside, I'm not gonna lie, but again, that'll go away with time, hopefully. Like, I mean, this one still feels a little bit greasy, but I mean, I don't know, not too bad. But yeah, so honestly, compared to this, this one turns like better, like way better. And, yeah, like, a little bit of spring noise, but, I mean, who actually cares? And, wow, <laughs> that's, like, really good. Um, I don't want to do a full Terminx solve, but I think I want to put Terminx solve in the thumbnail and title. Um, so I'm going to solve it, but just, like, a Mega Minx. So yeah, that's gonna be the plan. Okay, perfect. So with that epic scramble done, um, yeah, I think we can get uh, started. But yeah, I did wanna mention though, like these pieces, like a comparison, like they're like the same size, but like these like smaller pieces on the Terraminx, like, I don't know, it just makes it a lot more manageable, which I think is really good. I guess we'll probably be able to do this in under 10 minutes, so let's just get started. A um, little bit of inspection, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm going to solve this, like, so horribly and efficiently because I'm really good at Mega Minx, of course. Um, oh, I did not scramble this very well, but that's all the better for me. Oh, jeez, I really didn't scramble this very well. Who wants an X star? I do. And yes, it's not an X cross because it's a star. In case you didn't get that. Um, yeah. So I will be narrating the solve. And so um, we have the star done. And now we're looking for the 
F2L pieces. We are 34 seconds in, which I think is like over the Mega Minx world record, which is actually kind of insane. Um, so yeah, now another white piece. Okay, here's the yellow blue. You can get that in. And yeah, my look ahead is not good enough for this. Um, or just like my piece remembering abilities. So we can get this and I just gotta hope that I don't like mess up something and accidentally turn like two layers instead of these three that I'm doing like this. Because then I would have to like solve it like an actual Terraminx. Um, and I don't really wanna do that right now. So where's this other piece? Here we go. And we can get, oh, there's the brilliant three move. So inefficient. We can get this over here this and over to here nice um yeah so i think i'm going to do a live stream i don't know if i'm saying this again because uh i don't know it's been a long time since i've said it like a couple minutes even um so yeah i'm thinking uh geez i can't even see what i'm trying to do oh there it is okay anyway i think i'm going to do a scrambling um and solving live stream but like also do like patterns and so it's not just like the same thing that i always do in a live stream um so yeah honestly i think that'll be pretty cool so i think i will do that again this like sunday or so um so that is just if i get my homework done in time though so we will see but um we are on the blue face right now and we can uh, see that we're two and a half minutes in already, which um, it's not that great if I'm being honest, but um, it's something, I guess. Now we'll do the yellow face. Um, so we've got that and do we see a blue and orange, or no, purple and orange, I'm colorblind. Not actually, but you know, um, we've got that, okay. Perfect, and now this, and there's the yellow green that we need. So that should go like this, I think. Nice, and that is the yellow face done. So we have yellow, blue, and now we need to do red. So the red pieces are right here. Um, I guess I'm not good enough to take advantage of the really easy scramble I did. Um, where'd my pieces go? Oh, I turned it back there, because I suck. Um, okay. That's good. And there's that. So that one needs to go over to this spot. So hopefully you can see this kind of okay. Um, trying to go for a little bit of speed, even though it's clearly not working that good. Um, but yeah, there is the red face on with that insert. And now the green and blue. Um, we can go like this. And we also need to get purple and blue, but I think the best way to do that is going to be like this. So, um, let's go like this. So if we go like that, frick, I messed it up again. I am not good at this whole Megaminx style solving. I do not do it as often as I should if I wanted to be good at it. So we've got blue orange, which is right here. So we can do an insert like that. Um, okay, and now where's the other piece? It is right there, perfect. But yeah, turning quality on this cube is really, really good actually. So um, we can sledgehammer that in for hopefully a good case. This looks good. I don't know like how good it is though. Like I don't do uh, like any sort of OLO on this. I just do like the absolute beginner's method. And apparently I do it badly as well. We're approaching five minutes. Um, okay, here's that. Now we go, uh, uh, one, two, down, over, one, two, and down, and there we go. So we can go like this and, no, did you actually just pop on me, my guy? No wonder the turning's good. Um, it's because it's so loose that it can pop. So maybe tighten this if you get this cube. Come on. I don't know how I want to put this back in. Ah. Um, okay, let's see. We got to think about this logically. How do big cubes work? 
like that. Perfect. I totally know what I just did. Um, okay, we gotta not do that again, because that was ungood. And so we can go like that. And as I was saying, we can do the last layer like this. Um, again, just like the beginner's method. I think this is how you do it, or I don't know. It's just how I do it, I guess. But, yep, we can go like this. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, a turn for every nice, 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 nice. Okay, now we just have to cycle these three corners around. Hopefully we can do it before like six and a half minutes or something, I don't know. Probably like literally won't, but um, let's just go like that. And oh, we actually did. Uh, 624.36 for literally a Mega Ming solve. But yeah, so honestly, pretty solid unboxing in my opinion. So we got this lube, which um, I definitely won't be needing to use on this cube like I thought I would, because uh, like I think it's fast enough. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then we also got that sticker like I was showing you. Pretty freaking epic. So yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, what should I do corn twist on? How about the corn twist pyramids? Don't twist too many corners on my way. Bye.